There's nothing in this world that anybody can ever do to me that's going to be worse than what I've seen. I received a call from the Sheriff's Department that there had been a homicide. It was very devastating. There wasn't a lot of murders in Washington County. Everyone knew everyone. They all knew Michael. They all went to school with him. Everyone knew Rita. I was really close with my mom. She was always at my football games, my baseball games. She's always had the camcorder out. She was recording me. Come on, son. This murder was as brutal as they come. The first responders called this crime scene horrific. There's blood all over the room. Some sort of object was used to hit Rita at least once. Mike finds her body burning on the floor of her room. I was scared to death. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who to call. I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. My name is Michael Polite, and when I was 14 years old, I was arrested for the murder of my mother. Would either one of you ever, ever think, and be honest with me, that he might hurt your mother? No. I never thought he would hurt our mom, no. She was very close with Michael. You know, he was her baby. Tell me about December 4th, 1998. Do you remember that evening? Vividly. I was home. And then I see headlights coming down the, the driveway, and it's my mom. And uh, she comes into the house, and she says, I love you, good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Is that the last thing your mom ever said That's to you? That's the last thing she ever said to me. <laughs> Next thing I remember, I, I woke up, and I see a light haze in my room. I opened my door. I could see her feet. And she was on fire from the waist up. And I could hear it. What could you hear? Cracking of the fire. How soon did investigators focus on Michael? Immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately. He is a suspect from the moment they arrive at the scene. They said this kid didn't act the way they expected. He wasn't emotional enough. You look like a pretty good suspect. You were a person who loved to set fires. You had had arguments with your mother. You were having trouble in school. But none of that suggests anything about murder. Were there any injuries on Michael, on your brother? None. Any blood found on him, on no. his clothing? No. And no weapon? No. Let me ask you a question. What 14-year-old kid could commit a crime that violent and that vicious and not leave any, any forensic evidence behind whatsoever? That's not possible. Michael was convicted of murder in the second degree. He was sentenced to life. Michael, did you kill your mom? No. And there's only one individual that I know that hates her that much to do that to her.